We're back. Thanks again for joining us today. And with me in the studio, I've got Dan Phil Green, of course, from Shell Point TV, and Claude Endler's with us from the Advertising and Communications Department. So let's start up with you, Claude. You've got some information for us today about a special trip. Well, it is a special trip for those who have registered and signed up. Uh, bus transportation will go. We have a New England style seafood trip to the Clam Bay. Uh, oh. It's a local favorite. They've been in business for about 15 years. Now, I mean, personally, I'm more the Florida kind. I like the Gulf shrimp. I like the regular local waters, fish, and things. But for those of who are really uh, into that pure chata from up north, <laughs> uh, the, the clam bake is very, very good. And uh, there's a trip planned for that for lunch today. So if you've signed up and you're ready to go, uh, you're probably on that trip. But for those who are not on that trip, I'd like to recommend that the rest of those head on out to the Banyan Grill for lunch today. Oh, the Banyan yeah. Grill at the club at Shell Point. Uh, they're open 11 to 3 daily for lunch and a Sunday brunch. If you haven't been to Sunday brunch, it is awesome. 10 to 2 for the Sunday brunch. Mm -hmm. And uh, as always, reservations are requested. Well, not required, but they're highly recommended because uh, especially for Sunday brunch, I've been told they're getting quite the crowd out there for Sunday brunch, but it is well worth the wait if you don't have the reservation. But, you know, for our residents, I'd say call ahead. <laughs> well, and the Banyan Grill has become very popular. It's one of our many new venues that uh, residents can enjoy for dining. Sure. And um, I've had the opportunity, I think maybe you guys have too, to get out there and have lunch a couple of times. And I'm trying to work my way through the menu because I always like to see what, <laughs> okay, wh what's different. I am a little attached to, they've got a turkey cranberry wrap, and then they make their chips right there. Mm -hmm. So the chips mm -hmm. always come out, they're warm, they taste really <laughs> potato-y, they're really good. Um, so I, I sort of tend to try something new and then come back to the cranberry wrap and <laughs> yeah. then try something yeah. new and come back to the wrap. <laughs> but um, this past week I tried their lobster salad and now I have a new favorite. Oh. Um, I really had never been somebody who's eaten a lot of lobster. It's just not been the, my seafood of choice, I guess, or maybe I'm not hanging out in the right places. But um, anyway, and I was thinking, oh, here's, you know, I was working my way through the salads, and I thought, oh, the lobster salad, I'll try that. And I did not know what to expect. It is so delicious, and basically they've got the uh, artisan greens in a really fresh, uh, very light vinaigrette dressing that, that I think had kind of a mildly sweet kind of flavor, and then the lobster was warm and chopped up, you know, as part of the salad, and then they had some other veggies on the side. It was I really know, good. good. You're making me really Are you hungry. hungry? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Is that lunch? Yeah. I know. I'm telling you. Um, uh, they've got a variety of signature salads that are all very good and then they've got a number of sandwiches and then hot entrees it's a great um, place to have lunch and they are open for dinner a couple of nights during the week um, and they plan to add more nights on as they grow but they want to make sure that they're keeping their service top-notch and, mm -hmm. and have everything going smoothly so for I sure. agree I highly recommend it for lunch and I've heard the brunch is just phenomenal mm -hmm. so in our show today we've got some segments that I think residents are really going to enjoy one is is uh, some information from the folks in assisted living. They're having an assisted living tea and tour. Uh, there's one coming up at the Springs on the 22nd. And so that is something that if anybody is interested in learning more about assisted living at Shell Point, and in particular if they'd like to see the Springs, it's on the 22nd, it's at 2.30. And if they want more information, they should contact um, Vivian or McKinsey in assisted living, or even just call any one of the three assisted living facilities to get more information. And and then Marge Lee, who, as you know, is very popular, she uh, is doing another art chat. And this time it's with David Tompkins. And David has literally turned his home here at Shell Point. It's almost like a little mini art gallery. He has a number of beautiful watercolors on display in his home, and she's going to be talking about those with him. But I think the thing that's going to catch people's attention is, um, I don't think they refer to them as monsters, but let's call them creatures. Mm -hmm. And he creates these very whimsical, sometimes, you know, startling monsters or creatures. And they're made out of all sorts of seashells and some bone and uh, other found materials. So uh, very unusual sort of sculptural uh, kind of art that he does. So it'll be very interesting to see this segment later on in today's show about David and his work uh, in these types cool. of art. Cool. So Marge is going to be bringing us that 
that in just a little bit as well. So stay tuned to today's show. We've got lots more coming and we'll be right back.